All right. Wait. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are about to begin the roast portion of the evening. The main event, if you will, this was boxing. But don't worry, we're not going to sucker punch on anybody. Like, what's his name, dude? Um, I do want to do one thing. I want to get this out of the way. Um, I've been telling you guys to clap for all of us up here. What I want to do, and I, I may speak for these guys, is I want you guys to clap up for yourselves. So thank you guys so very much for coming out tonight. Yes, because without you guys, we aren't anything. This, you guys are the reason we do it. We want to make you guys laugh. This is what we do. Well, this is what they do. I don't, I don't do shit. But, um, we want to make you guys laugh. So please do enjoy the show. Um, I noticed some people came out to see me tonight, some of my personal friends. Uh, my buddy Pete is here. My buddy Pete is a good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. This kid's a fucking pothead. This kid smokes so much weed, Snoop Dogg follows him on Twitter. That's him, there you go. Um, everybody, you guys, you guys have to be on your P's and Q's here tonight. This is a Greek-owned bar, so we have to behave. However, it was, it's always filled, not with Greeks, but with like Macedonians and Serbians. It's like filled with them. They're like a fucking army. And they walk around like it on them, like they're a fucking gang and shit. Yeah. Hey, newsflash, you guys aren't a gang. You're a fucking church. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get killed for that one. Uh, my, my buddy Jim is here. My buddy Jim from work, he's here. He's from Demont, Indiana. He's from Demont. Yeah. How do you like the big city? <laughs> Fast life, I know. You can't just, just calm down and make yourself. It goes a little fast. No. All right. This is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. I want you to get out of your chairs, clap your hands, make as much noise as possible, because I'm bringing to the stage the man of the hour. The, it's his birthday. Please give it up for Mr. Keith Albert! six months ago and we were like fuck man we got to do something for the community we got to get artists and kids who are starving artists we got to give these kids a stage and me and him collaborated one day along with Mike along with a few other people and just said fuck it let's do it at Zodiac and this is what we created so thank his genius brilliant mind for this yeah. being responsible for this um, and not only are we roasting Keith but it was his birthday yesterday, so say happy birthday to Keith. Thank you. Thank you. What? <laughs> um, and to show you how dedicated he is to comedy, and to show you guys how much he loves this, yesterday on his birthday, he was hard at work to put this show together for you guys. Hard at work. And by that, I mean he smoked a lot of weed. Yeah. And then he purposely dodged his P.O. And then he denied his baby mama's call so he didn't have to pay his child support. She called me looking for you. It was getting really racist. Like I said, it's going to get dirty. It's going to get nasty. 
It's gonna get sick. If you can't handle it, I don't give a shit. I'm the host. I can do what the fuck I want. Yeah, that was Nick Man too. Um, a lot of you guys don't know too. Keith is not only a comedian; he's an actor, and um, we have he has a web series. Um, it's digitallizardproductions.com. If you go to it, you can see all of his work, his movies, along with that videographer Mikey. You know, they do a lot of good work. He's an actor. And Keith, um, I actually took a second and did watch uh, Nocturnal Emissions. And they say the camera adds, te adds 10 pounds. How many cameras are on you, fat fuck? That was mean. I don't know. That was the best one. That was the That was not the best one. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get off the stage and I want to bring you your first roaster. And I want to introduce to you Mr. Jake Kenny. Can I get you? Can I get you? Okay. I just have one question. Do your pubes have that gay Justin Bieber haircut too? Um, you're, um, is, uh, is, where's Mary? Your, your girlfriend is absolutely just gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Thank you. Give it up for Mary! Give it up for Mary! Um, how much does he pay you to not break up with him? Uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, keep your hands together for your first rest of the evening, Mr. Jake Kenny! Uh. Small town. 
We don't have many black people. I always wished I had a black friend. Like it's a real gangster black friend who like, I can buy drugs off. He'd always have a gun on him. Instead, I get fucking fat Kanye West over here. <laughs> Are, are we getting ready for prom? <laughs> Keith normally drinks, he, he, he drinks PBRs. He's got his V-neck shirts on. Seriously, like, I, I do have the honor of saying I have the only black hipster as a friend here. I'm very, I'm very happy about that. Uh, but you know, Keith does have some black stereotypes. A couple, a couple. He's late all the time. I don't know if anybody knows this, Keith's late constantly. Keith also smokes a lot of weed. Let me tell you about the first time I ever heard, the second time actually, I used to run a show at a little, uh, at a redneck bar uh, called Northwoods. And, uh, and um, Keith's, Keith, Keith's first time there, he did an open mic, he's hilarious, everyone loved it. Second time though, Keith comes on, and he's, first of all, 40 minutes late. <laughs> he gets on there, and he is so high at this point, he can't comprehend human speech. <laughs> and he even apologizes, hey guys, it's all right, in the middle of a joke, I'm, I'm really high. But I, I'm sitting here like, we are in St. John, there is a bunch of white people here, he is gonna get shot. <laughs> but really, you know, I'm glad to have Keith as a friend. Really, this is the serious part. Glad to have you as a friend. You're a good guy. I'm glad you've opened this world of Zodiac comedy to me. Thank you. That's my time. My name's Jake Kenny. Keep it going for Jake Kenny, everybody. Next to the stage is um, Mr. Nathan Gibson over here. I just got three quick ones for Nathan. Nathan, you look like a homosexual version of Randy Quaid. What? Or just Randy Quaid. <laughs> Nathan, you look like the love child of Jack and a retard. <laughs> one, there you go. That's good one from the last one. I appreciate it. While you're drinking the bar, buddy. Um, Nathan, um, is your name up there? Nathan, you strangely spell your name with a Y. That's because when you were born, your parents went, why did we fuck that night? I'm done. Everybody welcome Nathan Gibson to the stage. Give it up for Robert John. I tell you what, that guy has the body of a Greek god, like chiseled, 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 not so much. <laughs> I would like to bring up Brittany up here right now. Brandy. You got a different one this night. Could you please come up? You know what? He talks me about not having a girlfriend, but I think in a minute I can get her to like me over him. You see, you seem like a girl who grew up in the 90s. Is that true? Like maybe you were four or five? Because you look really young. So. Let me lay on this 90s beat on you. Do you want to hear a 90s beat? <laughs> Seriously, it's okay if I do a 90s beat. <laughs> uh, I'm about to lay a 90s beat. Girl, 
Girl, you're looking so good. Girl, you're looking so fine. I'll be your Jordan Canelano for my so-called life. When I saw you, I was in love for the very first time. You my ace of base, and I saw the sign. Girl, I want to be with you every night and day. And if we ever broke apart, you'd be like Y2K. Girl, you're always looking good, no matter what you do. If you're a Pokemon, I'd take a peek at you. Girl, I'm Girl, I'm not down the street, so I won't drop it like it's hot. But I used to listen to Hanson, so maybe later we can mm bop. <laughs> Girl, you're freaking out my food to make me feel alive. Maybe later we can jiggy after we mumble number five. <laughs> Girl, I'm hollering at you because I know you're all bad. And any other girl is a straight up rug rat. Yeah. Girl, we're meant to be together. Yeah, I know that's fate. So you can catch me at Dawson's Creek because I don't want to wait. Now, here's an example of Robert trying that. Girl, you're looking so good. Girl, you're looking so fine. You blow my mind like you're from Columbine. Wait, what? What? Oh! Oh, trust me, that's the first time people have laughed at you. But let's get on to pe actual comedians. Oh, uh, what do you want? You're like so young, you're so innocent. You're actually funny. You're like the bizarro Jake Kenny. <laughs> That's Jake Kenny, <laughs> and, and people laugh at Woody. Jake is actually the first person to give me my shots of doing comedy. He hosted the North, uh, the Blank Blank uh, show. Yeah, I trusted my career in his hands. I was like trusting Casey Anthony at a daycare. <laughs> Woody, Woody is the only musician I know that would have a behind the music that would have a chapter that said, and then she let me touch her boobie. <laughs> Woody has a band called Burning Up the Titanic, which is interesting. Because when I hear your music, I want to drown myself in bitter coldness. The cold water coats my lungs. The pain is immense and relentless. I plead for death. And then, please, death, take me away. But it will not. It prolongs the agony. And that's just your first track. Oh, man. Let's get on to the actual person we came here to see, Keith Evans. Woo! Now, Keith Evans, I feel like this is a very egotistical moment. Like, oh, I'm high enough that I can have a roast about myself. I feel like when you do these shows, you're just looking at us comedians and you're like, you know what this joke needs? More of me. <laughs> Keith, I know that you fight with black stereotypes and people want to make black jokes tonight. But the only thing black about you is your teeth, because they're giving, been giving me gang signs all night. Uh, we're so at Eastside, no. I'm sorry. I, all right. Keith is a former wrestler turned comedian, because apparently we needed a Jay Washington light. Yeah. All right, yeah. Keith Evans has a show called Nocturnal Emissions right now. And for those of you who don't know, Nocturnal Emissions is a show that takes place in the 80s. You were on that. And it's like, if Keith Evans was in the 80s and he held a television show, which is weird because it's like, no matter what decade he's in, he looks like he will give you a terminal disease. <laughs> like, I went on my computer to try to watch that show to do research for it, and I got a virus, which, which means that Keith is not only able to give transmittable diseases to humans, but he's also able to give it to the computers. <laughs> oh, man. Women like to refer to Keith Evans as the Black Santa Claus. And by that I mean like, he sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> he knows when you're awake. He watches you in the shower. I, I know that that's like, you better not pout, you better not cry. If you tell the authorities that you're going to die, keep that thing is coming to pout. Yeah, we've been mean to keep Evans all night, but I feel like you have a lot of good qualities. Like, like when you go open for Rob Blankenship, you look that much, he makes you, okay, make me want to go for that. You make him look that much funnier. You are a great, you are a great cuddler. 
he actually told me that. You look like a great girl. And you, and you get the best massages afterwards. Brandy told me that one too. So I wanted to end, because I feel like none of the comedians are actually going to give you uh, actual gifts. So I wanted to actually give you gifts, but I, it, I came with a gift bag, but it broke because it uh, came from a store that rhymes with Walmart. And I just wanted to give you gifts that I know would be practical for you. First off, you did a blog about you wanting socks back in the day, because I'm the only one that looks at your YouTube. And for the sake of it, great Kool-Aid. Oh great Kool-Aid. Some black and mouths. <laughs> and a clean urine test. <laughs> I'm making this a very good one. about having a rose closer to his home, but I didn't think we could fit this many people in Kenny's ribs. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my ego. I'm not taking pictures of you. Don't worry, Rick Ross. <laughs> and El Shaddai, I'm sorry, Keith, really isn't, really isn't a stereotypical black male, you know? I mean, everybody got their black jokes, this and this. I was a little worried he's going to come with his patent leather tuxedo, but... <laughs> He did, I mean, he's very fucking articulate. He's, you know, defeats all stereotypes. His white girlfriend is a fat as fuck. You know? <laughs> she's not, she's pretty, man. Good fucking job, congratulations. You're, oh, you're his girlfriend? I thought that was... Hey, we're here for a big surprise. This motherfucker's so far in the club that he's eating Turkish delight in Narnia, you know? I don't even fucking know. Rest in peace, Steve Jobs. Everybody on their fucking iPhone probably even knows who Steve Jobs is. Apple creator. Creative fucking motherfucker. Whatever. You should have been, you know, roasting him at some point instead of you. I mean, you have contributed to the community. 
as you can all heard me in community service. <laughs> nah, but like I said, I just remember this shit yesterday. I really don't have anything else to say. You guys have been wonderful for everybody up here. I'm not a fucking comedian. They're talented as fuck. I love you, you ugly motherfucker. And that's all. Give it over to James Haley, everybody. All right, um, we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight, like we've been doing all night. Um, a few of our friends and Keith's personal friends couldn't make it here tonight, so what they did, they decided to send us some videos of wishing Keith a happy birthday. So we're gonna take a second uh, to, if you guys wanna look at the big screen over here, and uh, we're gonna have to see people wishing Keith a happy birthday, I guess. There you go. Yeah, um, me, Ross, David, James Flores, 
Hey, well, we'd like to say that we're sorry that we couldn't be there to, to celebrate your birthday with you. Well, we'd, we'd like to say We'd like to, we won't say that. It's not true. We'll be lying. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. You, yeah. you look good for your age. Uh, 70? 70. 70. He's about 70. He stays, he stays young, though. He sucks the life out of audiences. That's how he does it. Kind of, uh, kind of like that dick or, you know. No, I'm sorry. It's exactly like that. Keith is a witch. Yeah. There's yeah. other um, comedians that I would like to say a few words to. Yeah, alright. We'll do that. Woody Watts. Woody Watts. We have, honestly, really insignificant. Yeah, we, we both decided that you really uh, were, weren't worth the ink it would take, right? A joke with. We buy uh, expensive pens. I, yeah. yeah. Jeff, this, this is my Woody. This is my Woody bit. Yeah. 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 I mean, to be fair, we, we really haven't seen you. Uh, per, we really haven't seen you perform enough to really write a lot of jokes. I mean, we've, well, I've seen your set, you know. And we've seen we've seen your we've seen you on stage a lot, but we've seen the same set. The same set. We do one set. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We actually have uh, the world song recording. Um, wow, we're not going to play it right now, but uh, the next time that we do stand up, we're going to perform it. And then uh, the next time after that. And every time after that, forever. Yeah, again. And then, and then again, Jake Kenny. Two first names means I can replace you. Jake, you're sitting through five minutes of your stand up comedy. Is is harder than sitting through five hours of being waterboarded. And it's, there's way less laughs. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Waterboarding is much much funnier. Yeah. 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 And your facial hair, Jake. Um, I don't really, I don't really understand it. You know, it doesn't connect to most places. It kind of looks like a white trash mess. Jake, when you perform, when I watch you perform, it makes me. It makes me jealous of Helen Keller. <laughs> she can't have to see or hear. Or hear. Yeah. Do, do, you buy, do you buy clothes that are intentionally buy clothes that are just way too small? Or do you buy clothes that fit you and then shrink the shit out of them? Are you shrinking all your clothes or buying clothes in preparation for the awesome belly button you're going to get? Or what? What is that? Just only the good and the ladies. Some of them. Yeah, some. Yeah. Uh, next on the day is we have Nathan Gibson. Nathan will be the final star. You, Nathan, I'm not going to see down the lights for jokes, probably. I'll just get over with um, some really fashion facts. You're tough to joke around about because I don't want to shout out to me or David in your suicide. That's all I'm also, it's just kind of creepy to see someone that tall chasing your children around the neighborhood in the ice cream truck. Yeah, yeah. You don't even fit it in the ice cream truck. You don't. Uh, Rob, Rob, John. Yeah. Um, uh, we just want to make it clear. Uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit different. Uh, roast like roasting Rob John and anybody else. You are not. A you, you are not a comedian. Look at the fierceness in my eyeballs. Yeah. You are not. No. No. <laughs> okay. Is everyone clear on this? Everyone's clear. If Rob John has gotten up yet, he's All right. it's clear. Rob John, you are not a comedian. If you're not standing over there, please go stand over there, because otherwise I'm going to be stupid. Yeah, that's probably not a comedian either. Yeah. That's probably key. So I looked you up on, uh, on Twitter. Yeah, we'll tweet. Some of your tweets, and here's a favorite of mine. Uh, this is something that Rob John tweeted on March 2nd. You know, tired of people asking me what plan is, dot, dot, dot. Here's my response, parts and quotes. To be the biggest film star in the world, so fuck off. Did they, um, did they specify what plan they were asking you about? Like, you know, like, were they just asking you, like, what your plans for the evening were? Because, I don't know, 
and just start yeah. Like, I'm, I just got out of class. I'm free for the weekend. I have Friday off. What's your plan? Dude, I'm gonna just move to Star of the World. So far off. Hey Dave, what's your plan? Oh, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be an astronaut. Fly to the moon. Oh yeah, what's your plan? How are you gonna get there? Just gonna go to the moon. So fuck off. Please um, move ever. You want to choose me? And hire a midget to come and punch you in the dick. So you see a midget come out. Yeah, you need to Not a big one, sir. Uh, now it's time for the birthday boy, Keith from the Heavens Evans, right? Something, something like uh, that. Evans, this is new ones. Evans, um, Evan Stevens. Evan Stevens. Evan, yeah, Evans. Evan Stevens. Keith, Evan Stevens, Evans. From Evans. Heaven. Just from Heaven. Bent. Is that better? Yeah. Keith, uh, let's just, I just want to keep it clear, uh, this is a roast for your birthday, you're the birthday boy, uh, we will not be wishing you a happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, in person, in this video. On Facebook. On Facebook, I was about to say. Most important you want. Yeah, a lot of people have called you an underachiever. We asked the doctor, we said, Doctor, can you, when you're in there to take the tumor out, can you put a sense of humor into his brain in this? And the doctor said, no, that's not possible. And so said, well, then can you at least take the tumor out of Keith's brain and you put it, please put it in Rob John's head? And he said, okay, no problem. Okay. You're welcome, everyone. Keith, that would be a shitty evening. I would have just railed on you all night. And anything that you guys said about us, in all fairness, is probably true. Yeah. You know, we'll accept it. I mean, you know this is a roast, you know, this is all in good fun. You know, we didn't mean anything that, you know, okay, well, we, we meant everything that we yeah. said. I guess the best part about this is, you know, we don't have to see you guys cry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, no, that's the best and the worst. Yeah. Um, When's the video on this one? I'd like to see it. Will this be a digital lizard, digital lizard production? No, this is going to be a Keith... Keith Stevens. Stevens. <laughs> yeah. He's from Heaven Stevens production. Keith, Keith Heaven must be missing an angel. Evans. Stevens. Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we get off for Ross and David Blank is here. Thank you, Ross and Ross. They're the two guys that, when we all first met, um, they were they were with us kind of, and we all became good friends through this comedy thing. Um, and they forgot to mention that um, the reason why they couldn't make it tonight and they sent a video in is because they got backed up in a writing session. And by that I mean they got confused on who was blowing who. That made me a two. All right, are you guys ready for the main of the hour? No, we're not. Oh, we're not. I'm we're sorry. Not. Oh, my fucking phone. Let's drink too much. All right, clap your hands for Mr. Wynn Watts. Damn, I missed one too. You're coming to the stage. You're up, buddy. Keep it going for Wynn, everybody. Hello, everybody. How is everybody today? Tonight, not today. They're... Hi. They're not paying attention. Um, first off, I'd like to start. Whoever left the cigarette in the toilet, thank you. It was good aim. Um, I'd like to thank all the comedians for coming here. Thank you. I'm happy to see that already Halloween is already this month. JK, he already dressed as a pedophile. It's pedophile Bieber. That's cool, man. <laughs> I'm really glad that uh, Zodiac is hosting this thing, because if this, if they wouldn't have hosted, it probably would have just been a, a Twitter off, or even on Facebook, because that's how we roll. But, or how Nathan rolls, it's plentyoffish.com. He says he's looking for the sacred clitoris. That's what you're looking for. You told me that the other day. But you don't know. You think that it's an Egyptian god of water. It's not. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> I'm way too young. 
<laughs> well, first off, the, the man of the hour, or as we've all been calling him. Hi. I'm gonna give my other paper because I forgot my jokes. I have a whole list. It's a page and a half of randomness. First time we went, we met Keith and uh, Rob was at Northwoods. We didn't like it there that much, but their first open mic, it was really weird because all of Keith's punchlines started as, or ended as him getting high, and Rob's was just about banging different women. It was kind of like if How High was remade with Tyler Perry and Fez from that 70s show. <laughs> That's how I roll. That's how the parent jokes. <laughs> but uh, he's he's on like a different level than us. I mean, he's the only black comedian in our little comedy troupe. But I can't think of him as black because he doesn't act black. He acts so white. Give me a second, let me find my joke. <laughs> First off, his name is Keith Evans. Keith, I would understand you if you were black if your name was Keith Sean. But not just Keith Evans. I'm sorry. If you try Keith Sean, you can be a brother. Stay solid. Bones it out. Bones it out. You want that? I don't want that. <laughs> I'm new to roasting people, and I noticed on Comedy Central a lot of people roast the other comedians, so I'm going to get to that again. Nathan. Nathan Gibson. Nathan. You used to be or is a substitute teacher. And whenever you tell people that in public, they always yell out, Amber Alert! <laughs> I've been there, I was that person. <laughs> Not that he told, that he kidnapped. Second off, Jake Kenny. Jake, we went, we went to the fair. I know we didn't really, we didn't go to the fair, but for their purposes, we did. You were gonna buy me a snow cone, and one of the people saw you, and they thought that you came back, back from the future as the crazy bearded beaver, and you got a job there for two weeks. <laughs> it was pretty cool, I came and saw you a couple times. Let's go, baby, baby. But by then you're like, baby, baby, baby. It's all right. Sorry, guys. Rob! Oh, so Rob! 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 Rob's on a reality show called So You Think You Have Abs. <laughs> I had abs once, they were just spray on from the mall. That's right, I roast myself. What's up, bitches? Woo! Let's get back to Keith. Alright, Keith. Like I said, you're the whitest black guy I know. Your first favorite movie starts with Honey, I Shrunk, and your second favorite movie ends in And the Bandit. That's how white you are. Only white people watch those movies. There's not a black person in those movies. You should remake it. We make them both. <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, I shrunk the key shown. <laughs> oh God. Keith also uses the word like more than anyone I know. You do. You say like so many times. It's kind of like you say like more than people who like a like in all the Facebook post status. <laughs> That's how many times, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Keith once said to me, what do you, you know you can be just like me. And I said, how can I do that? He said, I don't remember. And then I said, Keith, are you high? He said, I don't remember. Which is code for yes. It is. Little do you know. I'll push my glasses up. Keith also once came up to me and said, I love explicit and weird. We were talking about that earlier. And I was like, what? You're nuts, dude. He was like, yeah, I love Nancy Drew. <laughs> which also got me, which got me thinking also, which is why he's really white. But also very gay. Especially with Rob. I mean, I understand you got a daughter, but she might just be a cover-up. With Mr. So You Think You Have Abs. <laughs> Keith, whenever he does stand-up, you should hear my voice, Keith! <laughs> That's all I got. Not really. Um, Keith, whenever you stand up, you always go like 15 minutes over what you're usually supposed to do. It's not the same for your love life. It's, it's pretty cool, it's funny and all for the first 15, but then all of a sudden it just becomes a chore to watch and be a part in. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, second page. Okay, here's the little heart to heart thing. This is this is my end. This is my outro. I want to get off the stage. You can lick my butthole, buddy. Sorry. What? What? Just drink your adult beverage. That's what I call them, it's adult beverages. And Northwoods, we started Northwoods in April, and I'm so glad. Um, I knew Nathan before April, and uh, I knew Jake. Jake actually took me to my first stand-up thing, which is awesome. But, you know, we're like, we're like a comedy family, when you really think about it. I mean, it, it's really true. I mean, Keith is the next-door neighbor who always parties. This gets drunk whenever he wants. Nathan's the little brother who never got loved and is looking for the secret. Jake is the dad who beats you with his belt while it's still on. What? 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 Beep! Get the beat. You look like a Spice Girl. Oh, strip that. Boom. If you see that in my skinny, my skinny boots, they don't make me look very skinny. Rob, you're like the physical trainer that keeps on trying to get me to go on Atkins. It just never works, though. It never can. And me, I'm like the brother that looks up to these guys. Because I want to go party, because I'm underage. And they won't let me. They say, no, do your homework. But they've never told me, do your homework. Maybe they should have. I'm gonna be so messed up. But in all serious, man, happy birthday. Thank you for putting this crap together. Uh, thank you all for coming out. It's been a magical ride, and let's hope it keeps on going. God bless us, everyone. Let it, keep it going for Andy Milanakis, everybody. Let me just update his Facebook status in a relationship with Ray Nathan's right hand. Mm. Too low, everybody? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, okay. All right. I don't even know. All right, everybody, make some noise as much as you possibly can. Clap your hands as loud as you possibly can, because now is the time for all of us to get fucked, even you guys. Come to the microphone. Give it up for Mr. Keith Evans! I appreciate it so much. Seriously, I appreciate it so much. Give it up for uh, Gacy Slater right here. Give it up. Give it up. Uh, Brandy, can you come up here for a minute? I need your assistance. I usually need my easel. No, I'm not going to rap to you. I'm not that black, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Alright, so... Uh, I wrote a few things because uh, I didn't really want to, uh, there's another one sneaking through the board. All right, um, <laughs> let me, uh, <laughs> no, you just snuck through, that was, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, that's George Bush fucking, okay. I, I made that up on the spot, who said that was good? I did that, yeah, I know, I, try, I tried. <laughs> Fuck it, uh, I'm going to read these off because I'm drunk and, uh, this is how we're gonna do this right now. Uh, I know, ain't it? I got epilepsy and shit. Diabetes. That's, it works in my brain. Right That's how fat I am. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna roast myself in a minute. Don't worry about it. It's gonna work out. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna start off with some gay jokes. <laughs> we're gonna start off with some gay jokes. Nathan Gibson. What's up, bro? How are you? Nathan Gibson, no. Nathan Gibson's a really good guy. He really loves the Lord. He loves Jesus so much. Nathan Gibson is so gay for Jesus. For the longest time, he thought communion juice was supposed to be pearly white. Oh, hey -o. Let's go. Nathan Gibson is so 
Bill Gates for Jesus, he prepped for Oral Roberts University by sucking Robert's dick. Oh, hey, I like that one. I really like that one because Robert's, Robert's dick, do you get it? All right, well, yeah, that's how we gotta do it. Um, hold on, let me change this right here. We're gonna do nigger jokes. Vision's here. That's it. That's the only nigger joke I got. That's the only nigger joke I got. I'm just saying, your, 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 the bill on your hat is too flat. I'm just saying, like, Stop shopping at the gas station. Just relax. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Let's see. We're gonna do. Oh, we're gonna do race jokes. We're gonna skip to a different race right now. I'm just saying, like, much like racism and AIDS victims, Jake Kenny is from Lowell. <laughs> just so you know. Uh, this is a joke from somebody who's not here. Give it up for Milk Pappas. Give it up for Milk Pappas because Milk Pappas was supposed to be here. And my whole thing with Milk Pappas is that if Mexicans are known for being diligent workers. Is milk pappas the opposite of a fucking Mexican? Is that how it works? Only the staff gets that. Only the staff understands my joke about milk pappas. Manoli understands it too. Hey, Manoli, where are you? Where are you, Manoli? I don't have a joke for you because I don't want this shit shut down. Um, we're gonna move on. You can drop that right now. I got no more race jokes. I got no more race jokes. Yeah, you can sit. Have a seat. Give it up for Brandy. Everybody. Um, hey, I actually want to do a few thank yous because I just want to thank a few people who were able to assist me with putting all this shit together. Uh, I want to thank Jonah Hill because uh, he gave uh, Northwest Indiana the remains of his colonic and uh, taught it how to play guitar. So uh, I want to do that. I want to thank all the celebrities in the house. Uh, I want to thank Brandy and Rob, a.k.a. Wilbur Valderrama and Lindsay Lohan. Uh, I want to thank Jake Kinney, a.k.a. Kings of Leon's top roadie. Uh, I want to thank my headliner comedian, Marty DeRosa, a.k.a. Coke Cabana's Baby's Mama. Uh, <laughs> I had to do it because I hate Coke Cabana. I hate him. I hate him. I hate that motherfucker so much. But we're not gonna get into that. We'll discuss that later. Fuck that. Uh, I wanna thank uh, the rapper, Skittle, right here. Everybody knows that Eminem is better than Skittle, right? So. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, this is one that I wrote, and it's not really a roast. Well, it's a roast to somebody, probably people who aren't here, but I wrote this, and I think it's funny. Uh, and it starts off like dot dot dot. Speaking of whores, what is the difference between a girl who works at Jolly Rogers and a whore? A girl who works at Jolly Rogers is nine syllables long. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's that, I know. That's a thinker. That's a thinker. And if you were you've been to Jolly Rogers and you get that, then you should feel bad about yourself. Uh, now for the man of the hour. Wait, that's me. Okay. <laughs> Keith Evans lies so much, it's like he invented planking. I just like that one. I don't know. You get that one. I know you get that one. Yeah, because I lie so much. Uh, where on the street Keith Evans' penis is uncircumcised? Or as he likes to call it, cargo dick, because it has a lot of pockets. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, yeah, that's a gross one. I like that one, too. And then I'm going to do this one. Uh, despite their racial differences, uh, Keith Evans and Brandy Lynn would make the perfect example of a region couple. Except Keith doesn't act black enough and Brandy isn't fat enough. <laughs> oh, hey -o. That's all I got. Uh, I'm drunk right now. I'm shaking so bad. Diabetes is kicking in. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I want to thank you. No, I want to thank you guys seriously from the bottom of my heart for coming out. And uh, like, this is a lot of people to come out to my roast for no reason. And uh, <laughs> I don't know for no reason. I want to thank. I, I, I want you guys to give an applause for people want to thank. I want to thank Rob Job for sure. Rob Job. No, Rob Job. No, because like you remind me of like what a rim job would be if it was a Mexican reality show star. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I know that was a, that was a B plan joke. Just so you know. <laughs> I want to thank all the comedians up. Give it up for all the comedians that came up. These guys like I when I'm doing my whole comedian journey. These guys have been here. They've been on my side. And I appreciate that so much. So I appreciate that. I want to thank uh, Manoli and the whole Zodiac staff. Give it up for them. For, uh, for I want to uh, 
I don't know if you guys have noticed the, um, from normally how we do the show, the set is like entirely different. Like it's entirely different as I'm dressed up like I'm at a fucking bridal shower. So, but no, it looks really nice though. No, seriously, it looks really nice. And I want to give it up to Caitlin Edwards. Right here. Caitlin Edwards. You guys, she just started a business Chicago style, so if you guys need event planning, please, like, contact her, like, do it. Like, we're trying to support everybody in the region. Like, I want to thank, like, I know, like, like uh, it's a game. I want to thank Michael Goodpaster. Everybody give it up for Michael Goodpaster real quick. He is the brainchild behind Uber Uber Productions, and he is the one that gave me a medium to talk shit and do dumb shit and be here in a 1990s tuxedo and do my thing. So, you guys, this is what we're gonna do. Um, this is my birthday party. So, we're gonna party, we're gonna get fucking drunk. Uh, as the black guys say, we're gonna get white boy wasted. Just so you know. And, uh, we're uh, actually, once we finish this right now, which we're about to finish it right now, we're gonna clear this dance floor, we're gonna have some fucking music, we're gonna fucking just drunk, drink, or whatever, so get the fuck about your seats immediately as soon as I say goodnight. Good night, motherfuckers. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys.